take one. I've always wanted to do that. What's it like growing up with a family of 10 sisters? <laughs> oh, wee, Lord have mercy. <laughs> so first off, for viewers that have not heard about the series yet, tell us what they can expect when watching the first season, because there's a lot that goes down with the entire family. Right. I mean, you're going to expect to see a lot of just uh, generational tension between the elders and the wolf pack. Um, there's definitely a lot of culture. It gets chaotic. There's drama. There's secrets. I mean, we... There's just so much going on, but at the end we have resolve and it shows our love for one another and being there for one another. Now talk to me about really, how was it like to film the first season and really kind of dive in and explore like some things maybe that you didn't know about your sisters that you learned along the way filming the first season? First season, there was a lot of ups and downs, uh, but definitely resolve, a lot of vulnerability you know, just exposing your deepest, darkest secrets, not just to your family, but also to the world. Um, there there was, we you know, we did a lot of mental health checks with one another. We had family powwows. We, you know, we sat together and we had discussions. Like at the end of the day, we're doing a reality show, but we're still sisters. And, you know, we've been just through so much in life already uh, since the time we were kids to where we're at now. So we've always just had to tell each other, we got to overcome whatever, whatever comes your way. Um, we, you know, talk a lot about just having tough skin and just, you know, being prepared to tell our story um, mm. and hope that the world receives it well. I can relate to I it. I love that. Hamida, you are experimenting with men and women. Um, you know, you opened up about that in the first episode. As we are celebrating Pride Month, how important is it for you to convey your story to other young audiences that might be feeling some of the same things that you're feeling on the inside, which I think I a lot of viewers can relate to that. Exactly. I And I'm already receiving a lot of feedback about it, about people just being very supportive, very nice to me and saying, it's so great that you're able to share your story with us because we can relate. And I feel that it's relatable to a lot of individuals in my age and from my background are experiencing the same thing. So I'm thrilled to be able to share that with the world. I love it. And then the two sisters beside you are very supportive within your decision making on that. Always. Mm -hmm. Always. Absolutely. My best friend right yeah. here. No! <laughs> I love it. Oh! So, Sadika, you shared in the first episode you were single and you were focusing on yourself and also falling in love with yourself. You know, how important is that message to other female women that it's okay to not have somebody? That is absolutely fine to love yourself because if you don't love yourself, then how can you love somebody else? Exactly. I think that, especially with social media, and you will put out there it's such a pressure to have to have to have a partner and especially as a young woman to have kids and it's like why are you single what's wrong with you and it took me it was a struggle to like even admit to myself that i was single and i didn't want to say it out loud so i'm like oh my god everyone's in a relationship and i need to get married and have kids and the pressure and the culture and i took a step back and i thought this isn't healthy. Like, do I even know who Sadiqa is? Like, I'm in my 30s now, and I'm like, I didn't even know the way I was. And I had to really just date myself and spend time alone. I'm always with my sisters. And I had to kind of figure myself out. And mental health, if you're not okay up here, you're never gonna be okay over here. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really important for people to be okay with being single, to not feel the pressure from society to have a partner. And to know that it's okay to leave a relationship if it's not working out for you. I think a lot of the time people stay in relationships that aren't serving them because they don't want to be alone. Mm -hmm. And it's also okay to be in several relationships at the same time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right, so, ladies. <laughs> yeah, that is right. So, I mean, there it is. And, you know, I'm always ready to date. I'm dating now and we'll figure it out. But I'm still, you know, I need to fall in love with myself. Shakur, take one. That's me. We call her Shagoogle. She thinks she knows everything. All right. So first off, Shakur, you are the leader of the Wolf Pack. Your husband has had drug dependency issues, which was going to actually, you know, split up your marriage. But then you decided to give him a second chance. Was it a difficult decision to give him a second chance when some of your sisters, you know, were skeptical of him? It definitely was. I had to kind of just look at all options, but... When love is on the line, you do a lot of crazy things for love, right? You kind of bypass right. any opinions and static and you just kind of go with your heart and you pray for the best to happen. And you just got to kind of just move with the gut instinct. Mm -hmm. 
Rabia, talk to me about how this reality series actually formed. Like, what was the uniqueness of the family that brought on this reality series that we can now, you know, catch on Hulu? I think the opportunity for the world to see the dynamics between the older sisters and the younger sisters, the ones that were born in Afghanistan, um, the refugees, and then the younger sisters that were all born in America and just watching us pave our way through mm -hmm. society, showing our culture, um, showing our religion, we're all Muslim, and kind of paving the way and showing that we are kind of like the epitome of the American dream and we're very multifaceted. And so being given this opportunity to showcase that to the world. And it's, again, you know, it's, you know, it's our journey and we're not trying to be representative of everyone, but truly just being representative of ourselves and being vulnerable and letting the world see who we are. Now, Jamila, we see in the first episode where you are pregnant and you end up sharing the news because we see some of your sisters are wondering, you know, why you don't want to drink with them. Um, you know, how difficult of a decision was it to share that news within that moment? You know, in that moment, it was just like, it was me just, I had to be, I had to be authentic. I had to be real. Um, you know, it, you can try to plan for, you know, talking to your family about things that are like secrets, but for me in that moment, it just had to come out. And so it was very difficult. I mean, it was probably one of my most vulnerable moments to have to dispel that secret. But at the end of the day, you know, they showed support, which is ultimately what, what I was what I was looking for. Mm. Now, Jamila, for other women, you know, that might have grown up in a very religious household and are expecting mothers that have had a child out of wedlock, you know, what's the best piece of advice that you would give them to actually let them know things do get better for themselves? You know, no one can really prepare for things that that happen in life. Um, but ultimately, it's about choosing your happiness no matter what, um, and standing in that, standing in that truth, standing in and firmly believing that you know you can truly overcome everything. Um, at the end of the day, you know, having a child or not, children are a beautiful thing, and I do believe that everything is a gift from God. And how it happens, God's you, plan. You know, it's God's plan. You can't control it. Um, and ultimately, you know, if you have a solid family, they're going to be there to support you no matter what, um, because it does take a village to, you know, to help raise a family. Last question goes to you, Shakur. How has this series actually helped you become an even stronger leader of the Wolfpack? Uh, it's made me more in tune with listening to everyone's perspective a little bit more thoroughly or a little bit more with caution. and. It helps me to just understand my sisters a bit better. Like the whole process was almost therapeutic in a way because you're kind of walking through scenarios and trying to figure out the best way to move forward with them. And I feel that the series just, it enlightened me. It taught me so much more about myself. Oh, about myself, <laughs> the patience. <laughs> The craziness, I'm just like, wow, like you learn new things about yourself every day. I learn new things about my sisters, every one of them, my oh. mama. And it was just kind of like this eye opening, you know, this eye opening journey. Mm -hmm. I was fortunate enough to be able to share with my sisters. Oftentimes people don't get a chance to do that. Nevertheless, in front of cameras and in front of the world and then with your best friends, you know, like my built in best friends. So the entire experience mm -hmm. is just something that I would cherish no matter what. And I feel like it's just, it's taught me a lot. I love and I'm like still learning. <laughs> I'm still learning like every day as I'm watching the episodes, Noah, I'm like, uh -huh. hmm. I was like, wow, that's interesting. You know, you kind of just nod your head, you look around and you're just like, hmm, who would have figured, you know? And you <laughs> just, it's, it's a funny situation, but it's amazing. We see so much love and so much heart, and it's such a great series. Be sure to catch Secrets and Sisterhood. This Hosadas is now streaming on Hulu. We hope for a second season because the first one is a banger. It's so good. Thank you. That'll be yes, awesome. Yes, yes, we are too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very much, much Noah. Noah. Pleasure meeting Thank you. Everyone.
Hey, it's no one. I have some great news for you. We're now streaming on Fossum. The Must Watch Show is a weekly lifestyle series that shares informative information to help the viewer live an easier and better lifestyle with some of today's hottest deals and finds, along with interviews and fashion and the arts. I'll see you guys on Fossum because they're awesome.